I've had this machine for just under two months and put about 19 hours on it. Do I regret buying it? Should I have not bought it? Should you buy one? What's it like? What are the problems I've had with it? Have I had any problems with it? Should I have just stayed at home and bought a Barbie dream house? What do you think? Should I have not spent the money on this machine? Do you want one? What is this thing? That's what this video is about. I'm here to do a little review. Now, am I here to tell you if you need to buy a machine or don't need to buy a machine? No, I'm not your financial advisor. That's up to you. You talk to your accountant on that one or maybe your wife. So I'm just here to let you know what I think about it after using it for 19 hours and any little issues I've run into and things that I think are great about it. So here we are, it's just me and you just sitting here talking about my little Durette DRT 450 mini skid. So 19 hours in, man, I think this thing's awesome. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Could it be perfect? No, it's a machine. There's no machine in the world that's perfect. But I can certainly tell you that I love having this thing around my property. So first off, I've used this at my place, my place in southeastern Oklahoma, my buddy's house, a couple neighbors' houses, and, uh, and man, it's done great for me. Let me show you a detailed play-by-play -play of using this thing. And as usual, here's our friends. There's my little Bucky. And then over here, you see, you see baby? Here comes baby. They want food. Hey, uh, the corn's up by the house if you guys want to go up there. Yeah, it's right up that way. Yeah, go that, good job. Yeah, just keep going up to the house. Hey baby. Uh, yeah, tell all your friends there's, there's corn. Yeah, there's corn up there by the house. Okay. Let me get back to videoing. What? Oh, no, no, no. No, go eat your corn. I'll, I'll be with you guys in just a few minutes. All right, let's get back to it. So, issues I've had so far. Uh, the tracks come off a few times. Uh, there was a couple logs I've tried to pick up that were too big for the machine, like huge logs. And when they've got the root ball and the, the big dirt clod on the end of them, I couldn't move that stump or that tree with a root ball. That's heavy. I tried to get this, but uh, that's a lot of dirt in there too. So it's not just a tree. Uh, this just can't pick up that much. So it easily lifts a few hundred pounds. Let me show you. I'm 240 pounds. This is me sitting in the bucket. I'm sitting in this little bucket. There's no weight on the back. So we know it can certainly hold 240 pounds. <laughs> I still haven't gotten around to peeling off all this plastic that comes on it from the factory. I need to undo these Allens, take all the gauges out to be able to get the plastic off. I don't know why they left it on there. Uh, but it's there. You can see my keys doing a good job of kind of tearing it up and getting that nice stainless underneath. Uh, everything else is still looking really good. Uh, yeah, there's no real issues with anything. I don't see any major signs of wear. Um, now where I hook my tie down straps, there's a couple little scratches. Uh, everything else almost looks new. I haven't used this bucket a whole lot, but I have used it. You know, the, the powder does chip off a little bit. Uh, I did pick up uh, 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 hot embers and a burning log with it a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, the, the machine, I just washed it and it pretty much looks new still. It's kind of impressive to tell you the truth. Uh, there's little scratches here and there, but you can't really see in this light. Uh, and I did notice that uh, the, the little sticker that shows you you're supposed to connect your hydraulics here, because you wouldn't know that otherwise, uh, is peeling a little bit. And a little peeling on the edge of this one that says, don't stand in it. Yes. Oops. 
it's time to do some maintenance on the machine but but really i don't have anything bad to say about it so it still works like it should turn the key turn this key the fire's right up throttle still works like it should Headlights work. Uh, I don't know if the horn works. I never use it. The only time I've honked it is just for the video. Um, but yeah. I really don't have much to say after 20 hours. Uh, it works great. It works just the way it's supposed to. Now the attachments, that's a whole nother story. So some of my attachments, I might have broken myself. Uh, let me give you a tour. I've got the stump grinder pulled in the shop because I broke it. Not it broke on me, I broke it. I was unloading my, oh look at that. There's a little frog chilling in my shop. That's weird. So I was unloading my brush cutter and it slammed down on top of this and it split this wire. So I've got to fix that wire. Also, it chopped this off and the brush cutter came down. It just cut this clean in half. Also, it slammed down on my 12 volt plug. So I've got a new cable, I've got a new plug and I need to fix this wire and that stinks. So I did start taking the teeth off cause I've got the new carbide teeth to go on here. So I'm leaving this one in the shop. It's an expensive piece and I don't want to get it messed up. So these are from my Mini X. Here's my auger. It's just sat out here on a pallet. I haven't even hooked it up to the machine yet. It is brand spanking new. It has never been used. A couple little rust spots, but it looks good. Here's my grapple. I have used it. We've got some, uh, some rust coming through there. Minor stuff. There's a few little areas where or you can see a little bit of rust, not a big deal. It works great. Uh, I really do like that grapple. Next along the line, let's see. Pallet forks work awesome. Uh, I'm, I don't know if these are powder coated. Because uh, there's a variety of areas it looks like paint didn't get to. And there's rust forming. So I'll clean that up. Looks great. Works great. Same thing with this trailer hitch. A little bit of rust down in the gaps. Like it didn't get coverage. Here's my 4-in-1 bucket. I do really like the 4-in-1 bucket. I had the land leveler on the machine. And I bumped into this. I went, wow. And I plowed into this and I broke this fitting. Luckily, Durette did send me extra lines. And this is not just a fitting. This comes with the line. So I do have a new one of those. Uh, it just comes over to here. So I've got to take it off there and put that on. Little scratches, little bit of rust. Not a big deal. That works awesome too. Let's come over here. Brush cutter. Brush cutter looks really sad because I used the crap out of it. And uh, besides it's just being dirty with a whole bunch of tree stuff that got stuck on it and then it rained. I don't have it on a pallet. I do have a pallet for it. Um, but this, this looks almost new. I'm impressed with how well this is done. So brush cutter good so here's the uh the trencher last time i used the trencher the chain stretched a little so i need to adjust the tension on the chain which is looks like it's fairly easy to do 
So I'll show you guys how to do that in an upcoming video. It looks like there's the adjuster right there and you just crank on that and it'll take the slack out of this chain here. So, and then I need to grease it all up. Next down, land leveler. Last time I used it, I did not clean it before I put it up. So it's still full of all the debris from the driveway. No rust, looks beautiful. That is in good shape. 19 hours in, do I regret buying this? No. 19 hours in, am I really glad I have it? Yes. Have I been able to do a lot of projects with it? Yes, you see them in my other videos. So, more to come on this. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, update video on how it's doing. And as of this point, I don't really have many complaints at all. Still works as it should. It's still awesome. And I'm still glad I bought it. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Besides that, have yourself a great day. Enjoy your time in the trees. And I'll see you next time. I've had this machine now, used it 19 hours. So now I've had this for just under two months. I've got 19 hours of use on it. Is it worth it? Do I regret buying it? Should I have bought a Barbie dream house? So I've got just about 19 hours on my machine. How is it doing? How is it holding up? Is this thing worth a darn? Is this something you should get? Is this something that I should get? Do I regret getting it? What's wrong with it? What the heck is going on? What is this thing? About 19 hours in on my machine and you're thinking, is it worth it? Should I have gotten it? Should I have gotten it? Is it okay? What's wrong with it? What can I do with it? Do you want one? Should you get one? Should I have not got one? Should I have just stayed in bed? Should I have cried and sucked on my thumb? I don't know. What should I do? That's what this video is about. What's it like after 19 hours and a month and a half of use? One and a half months and 19 hours on this machine. Do I regret buying it? Should I have not bought it? Should I have gotten a Barbie dream house, little, little pink Corvette instead? Should you get one? Is it worth buying? What do I think? What do you think? Why don't you take a look? I've had this machine now for a little under two months and I've got 19 hours on it. Do I regret buying it? Should you buy one? Do I wish I hadn't have bought it? Do I wish I would have gotten a Barbie dream house? What do you think? What are the problems with it? I don't know. There's just so many questions and so much to answer. And that's what I'm here to do today. So I'm going to give you a review on this thing after about 19 hours. And I'm going to let you know my thoughts. Yes, this is my toy. <laughs> Now, last time I used the trencher, the train 